Welcome back to <laughs> Where dreams come they don't, come they don't come true They just get really stoned They get really stoned <laughs> Ooh, Welcome back fade. to Double Jointed Hello <laughs> Oh man What's the date today? Today I want to get in a habit of saying the date That would be cool It's the 23rd Is it the 23rd? 23rd? It is the 23rd I couldn't remember Yeah This this third voice that you're hearing today Is a wonderful guest My girlfriend as well Our first guest now First guest Yeah first guest Oh yeah she runs the fantastic podcast known as Olympia Oddities. You can find that on Spotify. Where where is the Audible? Anchor. 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 <laughs> I got I always, I get them confused. I'm sorry. It's on Anchor and like most podcast apps, Fuck like the ones it. that people use. It's on those ones. <laughs> the ones that people yeah, use. I don't know about the more like I don't know out there ones, but it's on like Stitcher and stuff like that. So They're so go up. find that shit. So while I light this. Trista, what is the podcast about? Oh, my podcast is And about why did you why did you start what what compelled you to start it? Because my friends couldn't stand to hear me talk about like bat squatch and shit like that anymore. Like that that's like seriously the reason why. No, and like just cuz I love that stuff and I feel like there's so much like weird like lesser known stories and are you going to light the couch on fire? My new couch. <laughs> There's so many Sorry. like lesser known stories around here that I feel like deserve attention. So it's about like local like like Pacific Northwest based like true crime and cryptids and paranormal stuff and UFOs and I don't know if I'm missing anything. Anything oh, yeah. that's like in the X Files the categories. World's largest egg. Weird the blobs. world's largest egg, yeah. weird like roadside attractions. The story everyone actually needed but they didn't know. Yeah, I just like sometimes I like will come up with like an episode idea like the McDonald's one. Or, like, the egg one. And I'm just, like, I think it's, like, funny to, like, kind of, like, make people listen to this. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> they need to know about that this city does this. Yeah. <laughs> like, more people need to know about this. And mm. that they can go get a free egg salad sandwich and stuff. For real. <laughs> I like so to, like, throw in, like, the, like, little festivals and stuff so people know what's, like, happening. That's so funny. That's the only way they have to sell it. Take our egg salad, please. Please. <laughs> I think yeah, I was about to say I think that everybody listening needs to go listen to it, at the very if nothing else your first fucking episode, the Oakville Blobs. Yeah, because that was one. just so fucking strange. <laughs> yeah, that's like one of my favorite local stories. Basically, in like 1994, <coughs> I'm gonna cough really quick. In 1994, in Oakville, which is like a tiny town, a bunch of rainy blobs like rained down over the period of a couple days. And people got really sick, and they were never able to, like, determine what the blobs were. The and government. It was the government. That's one of the theories. That's one oh, of my really? favorite theories. Cause it's of like, course. Because it's, like, just small enough of a town that mm. if the government, like, was going to, like, run some experiments that, like, wiped out the population. That sounds so awful. But, like, yeah. you know, it's the government. They're doing it awful happens. shit. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, what better place than Oakville? You've seen 1984? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What's it? Oh. What what is, what is what is probably like your top three favorite episodes that you've done? John Tornell, who was, was like gonna, a that was gonna be my next one. I was gonna bring up honestly. He was like a wild man who like Ooh. lived in the woods near Aberdeen, and like his nephews were found shot one day, and the entire town pretty much like decided that he shot them, and so then they went on like a crazy manhunt. Blobs is definitely up there. I don't know. It's really hard. It's like trying to pick like. My favorite pet or, like, my favorite kid. I like I the love... agro-pelter as well. Oh, the agro-pelter, <laughs> which is, like, a weird little cryptid that lives in trees and throws pine cones at loggers, which Like, is exactly really what the name oh, says, and yeah, I love it. that name. That was one where I saw the name, and I was like, I have to do an episode on that. More people need to know about that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's fucking sick. I fucking love stuff like that, too. Like, everyone's always like, oh, no, that stuff doesn't real. It's like, even if there is no really, like, you know, you could find stuff about Bigfoot where people are like, oh, that's disprovable. It's like, <laughs> I'm still going to fucking believe it. Oh, yeah, it's you know? so much fun. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I, like, 100%, like, concrete believe in, like, Bigfoot being out there. Like, I think that it's pretty unlikely. But it's so fun. Yeah. So it's fun to, like, believe in it. So I'm, like, 100%. Like, That's I go to Squatch point. Fest and stuff. And, like, yeah. the people who are really into it, it's just fun to be around those people. Those people yeah. are their own cryptids. I feel like... <laughs> That is true, though. Yeah, I really want to go to Squatch Fest with you this year. I've never been. I want to go. It's in July. It is now a- that I got my vaccine, I feel better. Oh, yeah. oh fucking hey. 